This is a short animation to describe how to use Navisworks Freedom Viewer to look at the UK CIG Marina Star 3D model. Start by installing the software and then once you've located the file on your hard drive, double click the NWD file which is the Navisworks Freedom Viewer file. You'll need Freedom 2010. The model will load onto your computer and you will see it loading in all the graphics. Depending on the graphics card in your computer, this will be a quick or a slow process. The interface is quite simple. You have control commands at the top. You have different features along the right hand side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to navigate around the models. The first thing you can do is you've got to use the, the walk or the feet. You can use the zoom. You can use the pan and you can use the orbit. And these just take a little bit of practice. We prefer to use the walk. So if you have a standard mouse, wheel mouse, left click moves you forward and left kick pull you back using the wheel you can rotate up or you can rotate down and then to change your position or height you click on the middle mouse key and then move the mouse either forwards or else backwards and then you can change your elevation so if you're looking at the building square on you can move up or you can move down so you can go to a certain floor in the building Again, you'll see the graphics rendering the model as you go. If you use the zoom, you can zoom in or zoom out. You can zoom to a window, so you can actually zoom to a frame. And then if you use the orbit command, you can rotate the model around the center of the model. So you can move the model around. So these are the three commands that we very, very often use. We prefer to use the feet. It's the quickest way of getting around the model. Quick and easy. Okay, now to quickly find your way around the model, we have set up viewpoints. So you can click on the camera and you will see a, a viewpoints window pop up. These are um, scroll windows, they'll either pop in or pop out. If you hit the pin, it will always be on. And here we've saved some views. So we have an overall model. Okay, so it's the same model, just different views. The entrance is where the default start is. So this is the entrance to the hotel, the uh, apartments. So if we go through them one by one, for the floor plates, you can look at individual floor plates. So this is B4, this is the second basement, this is the ground floor level, and in the model you'll see the ductwork, you'll see the cable trays, you'll see the piping. So you can zoom in using the controls, and you'll see the letters which are a representation of the grids. So we've now modeled the stairs, we've modeled the ductwork, we've modeled some of the ceilings, and you can see all the different objects. So if I then click on another view, it'll jump to the next view, and the next view, and so on. So you can jump around. So you can always go back to the previous view, view and see what's going on. So those are the floor plates. We've done the same for the MEP just to make it easy to see what's in the model. So we've got drainage, we've got fire, we've got the complete services at the moment, we've got the MVC, and we've got the plumbing. So those are all saved as views. And then just to give you an example, where we've raised RFIs, which are 3D, we can actually give you a view of the RFI in the model. So this is RFI 16. So this is relating to the concrete core walls in the basement. So you can see we can actually set up a view for the RFI, and then you can play with the model to try and understand what the RFI is about. So you can jump around inside the viewpoints. These are the viewpoints. If you want to get some information from the model, if you want to figure out what we've modeled where, you can check here, which is the selection tree, and another window will pop up. The selection tree is actually the breakdown of what's in the model. So we have structural models, we have architectural model, drainage, fire, mechanical, plumbing, and then we have the grid system. If you go into the architectural model, for example, for the tower, you'll see the different levels. So if you click on an object in the model, so if you use this selection tool, you can click on, say, a balcony wall, and it will bring up the details that we've labeled. So we've got a wall, it's at level 21, and it's 150 mil. So you can see what size the element is, and you can see how many elements are in the model. So this is Tower 21. So all of the different pieces of the CAD file can be checked here. If I hit the pin, you'll see the window disappear. And if I scroll over, it'll pop up. So that's the viewpoints. And this is the quickest way to get you started. So hopefully, with this little video, you can see how to use the model and how you can see what's in the model. And then finally, if you'd like to get a screen capture, we always recommend do a print screen, and then you can put it into Microsoft Word. Okay, have fun. And if you have any questions, please email us. Thank you.